Hello, in today's video we have not a particularly challenging problem, but I think an interesting one, so I thought I would just share it with you. So, it's the limit, as x approaches infinity, of uh, sine x over x. I'm just going to go through it really quickly, just knocking out some math problems here. Um, so let's do it. So clearly, and I, I'm, I'm saying this in, in a non, trying to say this in a gentle way, but clearly this is going to go to zero. And, and the reason is sine is bounded, right? Think about the sine function, right? It's, it's a wave. It never gets bigger than one. It never gets smaller than negative one. So it's bounded by one. Um, and as x grows without bound, you've got something that's bounded by one. You know, it's, it's oscillating back and forth. And something that's getting infinitely large on the bottom, the fraction is going to get closer and closer to zero. So how do we, how do we justify that uh, mathematically? You can use something called the squeeze theorem, okay? So um, the squeeze theorem uh, basically says... Um, it basically says, I'll just, I'll just, uh, and I'll just omit some details here, but this is a rough version of the squeeze theorem. It basically says, uh, if you have, say, following two conditions, um, so you have f of x less, less than or equal to g of x greater than or equal to h of x, let's just say for all x, and you can be more specific. You can say for all x near some number, you know, because if you're like if you're approaching a limit, you know, it doesn't have to it doesn't have to be true everywhere, just near where the, you know you're taking the limit. Um, so, but let's just say for all x, and let's say that um, the limit um, as x approaches, I can use infinity. I'll use infinity, but you can use you can use b c is equal to l, and also the limit of g of x as x approaches infinity is equal to l. So we have that the limit of h of x as x approaches infinity is equal to l, and the limit of g of x as x approaches infinity is equal to l. So we have both of those conditions, and we have this inequality. Well, what's going to happen, right? Well, f is trapped between these two. If this is approaching l and this is approaching l, well, f has nowhere to go. So if you have these conditions, then this says that the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity uh, is equal to l. So uh, typically, in most books, it's written very similarly again, but they just have some conditions about, like, the A, or, you know, if you're approaching a number, usually this is where it's done. Uh, in any case, um, we can squeeze this uh, in uh, pretty easily, I think, uh, between some numbers, so let's, let's, let's work through it. So one way to do it is to use your intuition and note that the sine function is between 1 and negative 1. And then you say, well, wait a minute, I have sine x over x. Well, as long as x is not zero, I can divide by x. Well, what if it's negative? Well, it's not going to be, right? x is approaching infinity. So, <laughs> divide by x, right? So, I say, well, wait a minute, what's the limit of this? So, if you take the limit of this one, well, this is your h of x, you see? And what's this one? This is your g of x. See that? And the squeeze theorem. So, so note. Let, let me just let me just put something here. Let me put some words. So let me just put a line here. So note. And then a comma. And then we also have the other condition. We have three things that are happening here. Right? We have we have this inequality, right? And then we have this is approaching zero, this is approaching zero. So we have the hypothesis, or these plural, the, the multiple conditions, you know, in the hypothesis of the squeeze theorem, they're satisfied. Hence, by the squeeze theorem, I'm going to cite it so people know what we're talking about. We have, we have that the limit, and you know, I think citing things and you know, just letting people know what you're doing is important. Um, for various reasons, right? Um, um, squeeze theorem, this is equal to zero as well. Um, various reasons, right? It's helpful, that probably being the best, I think, you know, be, be nice to people. Math is hard. Um, so, yeah, so it helps to let people know what you're doing and stuff. So, yeah, so that's kind of an, it is an easy problem, but hopefully um, it's a good example that illustrates how to apply uh, the squeeze theorem. So hopefully you've, you've learned some mathematics in this super short video. Check out my courses. Links are in the description or from my website, freemathfits.com. They're on Udemy, but use my links because I've lowered the prices and it helps me. Subscribe, like, share. Keep doing mathematics.